Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Fortnite horror map. This one, I don't know if it's a sequel or a prequel, but it's the second installment in the Alberton Hills, Alberton Hills series. Alberton Hills Livingstone. Um, this is, the, I don't know if it's a sequel, I think it might be a sequel, but it's a continuation of the Alberton Hills series, the second installment created by Sunday.CW. The code is right there on the screen, figure they're pointing right at it. It's a horror mystery series story map, and it's one to four players. You can play with four, your best mate. It's also an adventure map, and the description reads, You were sleeping when the sound of your map lamp breaking woke you up, and a strange convulsion made you go outside. That's when you met her. Who's her? Just about to right. go out. How to support me, Alberton Hills. Oh, it's a sequel. It is a sequel, though. A sequel to Alberton Hills Asylum. Alright, let's start from the beginning. Do you want anything to drink? No, thank, no, you. thank you. I, um... I, uh, remember. Alright, I'll read all the stuff. I'll, I'll let you guys uh, do some stuff if you if I'm tired. Right, here, January right, here 21st. The sound of breaking right. lamps makes you out of bed. Chapter 1, my link. <laughs> It's kind of something weird that kept, we woke up what from a the mess. Same something kept on pulling me to yeah, take a walk sus. outside. My parents weren't home. Do you know what that might what have happened to them? That's what we're here to find out. Let's keep going. What happened next? Wait, huh? It was three in the morning, sharp. They forgot to leave me for a key, uh, leave me a key for the front door here. I started looking around for a spare one. I was sure we had one lying around. Locked doors garden. requires a key to be unlocked. Only doors of an image of a key can be unlocked. Is it in there? Where? Oh, you found it in the garden. What is it doing in the garden? Okay. Well, I have no idea, bro. Move, move, move. move. What does it say? Okay, so what's it say? I had a trunk pop open the... I had a trunk pop open the ma moment I stepped outside. I knew I wasn't alone. And that's when I first saw her. She was unpanicking her. She was unpacking her luggage from a blue car. What kind of car was it? I don't know the first thing about cars. It was blue, new model. You weren't around. You weren't from around here. I wanted to offer. You weren't from around here. I wanted to offer my help with your luggage, but I froze. You began to sing softly as I. As I, Alex, don't run away from us. You began to sing softly as I got close. As it got close, and your soft singing, it was. Magical. It kept pulling me closer to you. I wanted to learn more about you. No, I needed to know more about you. Your singing let me know that you wanted me to know you more. What does that say? I was heading this way anyway, so no foul, right? I began following her footsteps, keeping my distance. You left this trial of trial of smell that was resembled the ocean's breeze. It was beautiful. Are these what? The exact so sets? we got we got a crush on a girl. You were getting ready to cross the road. You to cross the street. This would be the first time we'd be close to each other. I began to walk faster towards the road crossing. If this is their footsteps, they have really long feet. And there was, and there I was standing next to you, ready to cross the street. We didn't speak, but you wanted to know your, but you wanted to know me to know your name through your singing. Liliana. I don't know. I don't know how or why it. I, I was never able to process how unrealistic this was, but that she wasn't able to speak to me telepathically. All that matters is that you broke up of it. Don't kick yourself too hard for it. They've been doing this for a long time. Right. Okay. How about this? Let's change it up, kid. What did she look like? What was she wearing? She was blonde. Wait, wait up for Wore me! All... She was blonde. Wore all black. Hood... Hoodie... Demi's shoes. I remember noticing the price tag was hanging out of the back of her pants. What the f- Why are you looking at the back of her pants? You think- You think she shopped nearby? Possibly, yeah. Maybe over, a da uh, over at Danny's. We'll find out. The singing Thank kept goodness. getting louder. All Thank these thoughts... All these thoughts rise, kept running through my head about continuing to follow her, loving her, running away from her. She wanted us to be together, but she told me I had to do a couple of things before her, and I had, I had to, I could run away. She wanted me to. 
What did she want you to do? Break into Mr. Porter's place? You want us to be together, right? That's all we have to do. Then we can be together. Chapter, Chapter two, 2. Unconditional love. What the love. heck? I... She asked me to break into your place, sir. She, she didn't, didn't ask. ask. She... she didn't ask. She made you. No. No need to be embarrassed of over it. You weren't in control. Even though I could feel bushes scratching me all over, she guided the way, clearing the path for me to see what I was, where I was going. Everything felt right at the time, just thought, just failed. She let me know that your bodyguard was in the backyard. I'll read this. I had the choice to either knock him out with one of these cans or pick the keys from his pocket back pocket. So what did you do? I murdered him with a stick. I Get didn't go. risk it. I knocked him out with the can and grabbed the keys. How could you knock him out? That's my question. I had the choice to either knock him out with one of these cans or pick the keys from his pocket back pocket. You're a donut! Next I noticed you had some cameras installed around your house. I had to avoid them. You know, you don't have to explain everything like you're in a heist film, right? Watch out! No, no, camera, camera! Hmm. <clears throat> oh god, fuck no. Oh, there's a key there. Did he sacrifice his voice? <gasps> there's a key here. We're done. <laughs> I've got a key! <coughs> Run it, run upstairs, run upstairs, run upstairs. What's more cameras? I had to look for everything here. I had to look for any. I had to look for anything here that I could use to open the door for the master bedroom. Search, 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 search. Here, here! I got a gun! I got a gun too. We all got guns. What the fuck? Oh, we had to shoot the door! You are. Oh my god. Okay, hold on, hold on. Jed, you're supposed to come in. This is the red text. Wait, 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 where's Jed? Where's Jed? Where's Jed? Even no. you hostage, teddy bear. <gasps> Shoot the teddy bear in the head. Come on, man! Go! No! Yes! Okay, now read the red text. But sure, no, everything hold, 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 has to come out. Let's feel it. We're invisible before continuing. just because it's red, you don't need to be like that, okay? I remember seeing this strange make robot. The party private? Shut up. I remember seeing this strange robot in your room. What was it, Mr. Porter? I feel you are in everything. Oh. I know once I finish hearing your side of the story. Okay, yeah. You just took my line. Oh, sh. Alright. The ring! Ring! No, don't don't speak like that, Jed. It just ruins it. Just because it's red. Take everything from the oh. vault. Okay. Hey, we got two thousand buck. Now we run. Your... Wait. Keegan, oh, the cameras Keegan, are the same. Oh! Wait, 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 don't go out there. Don't go out there. Don't go out there. Oh wait, yeah, read. Bef no, 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 don't go out there. Don't go out there. Close the door. Okay. Before I knew it, I heard sirens outside and the footsteps of officers bar, bar barging into the house. I had to go. I had nowhere to go. I believe that. I believe, oh, wait, oh, yeah, 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 I believe that she was the one that had called the police. She wanted to make sure you were considered an escapee, so no one would have questioned your disappearance. Everyone would have simply assumed you were on the run from the police. Let's continue. I went out and dropped my gun. Drop your weapon and put your hands in the air now. Take him out, my love. He has no part in our tale. Okay, drop my gun. Come on, all right, that's that's yours. Come on, we both know that that's not what happened. We talked about it. Nothing bad will happen to you. I can promise you that. You know what the hell happened? Then why I did we have to go through this? I need a drink. I'll be back in a minute. What? Well, it's right here. Oh, I accidentally pressed the thing. Okay, well, don't read it. Okay, protect the ring. Don't let anyone get in our way. Oh, that was my name. Go away. Ah, he got me on my shoulder. But well, what did you think would happen? 
trying to pick up a gun from up from the floor. Be careful, my love. There are more. Don't let them hurt you. Let me in, boys. Ah, go, go, go. remember me. Go. Why is there cops everywhere? We gotta go back into it. the forest. Okay, uh, let me read. Yo, yo, judge, stay back, stay back. Chapter three. Run, boy, run. Run, boy, run. I can't keep running, the pain on my shoulder is getting worse, I need to rest and patch myself up, Mr. Porter. It feels like I'm trapped in my memory, I need to keep going, I need to remember everything. The loss of blood is... Uh, Alex, stop running forward! The loss of blood is starting to... I'm losing colour in my eyes. Huh? The double vision, I... You hit the ground unconsciously... Until the sound of her singing woke you up. Noah. Noah. You quickly jumped up, gasping for air, and if she had just brought you back to life. You began to look around with your hand on your chest, knowing very well that your heart wasn't beating less than a minute ago. We can get through this. Just follow my voice. I'll guide you the way. I'll lead you to safety. We don't have a lot of time before more officers show up and the roads will begin to close. So what does this have to do with the first one then? Yes, there's no story. It's just the story of this woman. You began to slowly see more clearly. I need to find medi medicine. Help me. Lilina. I think that's what it says. Liliane. Liliane. I just needed to find a... Uh, Huh? Thank you, Albertson Ver Veterinary Clinic. Oh, remember he is Veterinary Clinic. Okay, well, where are we meant to go from here then? I need to find we bandages to, to patch myself up temporarily. I left the door open for you. Hurry. Oh. Mate. Empty. Empty. What do you mean empty? Give me your armor beds. I need a body bag. Right here, right here, right here. Shut your armor. This is another body bag, There's is a message, it? there's a message, you, like, go like this. Okay, Alex, that's Dr. yours. Dr. Flint, I've left you a case with something that arrived in my mail a couple of hours ago. You need to know more about it. Call, Call me, me soon. soon. It's an, it's, it's an egg. Hey. Hey. Well, well, fuck you guys, this Bro, is mine. why are you only <laughs> using it for five health? Because he wants us to do it to, so we can continue. Come, Come with me, I would like to show you something. Can you just speak normally? Okay. Come don't, don't with me like this that. way. I'd like to show you something. And here this lies way. my love for you. What do you mean? Oh, that, oh, that, oh, that, that, that right there. Yeah, that's like no venom symbiote, yeah. Yeah, let's just ignore. I'm guessing Wendigo shit. You look inside to see multiple photos of you display on the wall. However, the spell that she had on you had your judgment clouded, making you unable to, to realize that it that this was sort of a ritual. This bitch is satanic. It's, I need to leave town. If I'm not if I'm not mistaken, there's a car shop around the corner. Maybe I could break in and find the keys to a vehicle. I'm coming home, Lalina. Open this um, thing. can I just take a look at what's down there? A tsunami? Yeah, most likely. Jeremy's car dealership. Let's break in! To a car dealership. Oh, uh, hold on, let me go in real quick. Guys, 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 stop. Oh. I'll go in first. Oh, it's the robot guy. Hi, friends. How can I help you? Why, why did you press that? Well, alright. What's your budget looking, buddy? Like, buddy? Hmm, we don't really have any cars under 2,000, but I could but I could cut you a deal. Meet my buddy on the door on to your left. Let me get the door for you. Thanks. Oh, I haven't pressed it. We haven't pressed it. Alright, let me read it real quick. Okay, well, you gotta read what they're saying first. Chill out. Alright, everyone get in the back. entering another life. I mean... Alright, life. Alright, all right, come on. Thank you. Chapter 4. I got my pistol. Deal. The deal. Dead entering another life. Kid, exactly. Who did you sign a paper with? What oh, wait, did we it need look to... like? Hold on, wait, 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 we need to go back here and read them. 
You feel a you cold? Wait, no, wait, no, no, because. I... You've, you've turned the car into space. <laughs> you feel a cold <laughs> splash on your face, <laughs> and then a huge burn on the side of your face. <laughs> you snap out. You snap out of it, realizing Mr. Porter had splashed cold water on your face, and proceeded to slap you as hard as he could. <laughs> Kid, who did you sign a paper with? What did he look like? You, you, you wipe some water off your face. But he looks like robots. I thought I was hallucinating. Did you sign it? What did it read? I signed it, but Liliana didn't <laughs> want me to read it. It was all too blurry. They're entering another life. Where are we going? That's what it's on the book. No, we don't go down there. So we go back down here. We're dumb as hell. <laughs> Listen, kid, whatever you signed, my son signed too. I received mail from an unknown address for the information about six kids escaping an asylum. Thing is, no such thing ever happened. It was greedy. Didn't look into it. He wanted something good to write write on. He wrote from he wrote for the local post. That's so now it's connected to the Asylum the Hills Asylum because it's talking about the Wait, wait, look, it's look, it's connect it's connected to the Alberton Hills Asylum now because it measures the six kid escaping. That's what was mentioned in the first one. This letter had a simple deal. Signing meant he wouldn't tell anyone else. He signed Factor Honey stole my car. Never came back. Oh, he's dead. Whatever he went, you're going. Wherever he went, you're going though. I don't know how it all works, but listen to me. Leaving, Leaving Alberton Al Hills. Al Lake. Alberton Lake. You have to remember this. You're no longer Nora Rays, okay? From this day forward, you're Charles Livingstone, a British teenager from London. Oh. My God! He's talking about you, listeners. Charles no. Livingstone. Wait, no. Who? Wait, who was that last time? Who was that last time in the first one, Alex? You keep telling yourself that. This might twist and turn the deal. Make yourself believe you're Charles. You got a kid. It might break the deal. I should have told Noah to protect him. I kept researching. I, but I thought all this was over. That I was the only one. I didn't want to scare him. No, Jed, can you stop fucking emoing? You find my son and you protect each other. I've been through something similar myself. When I was younger, I, I wish, wish I had, I had someone. someone by my side. I once woke up in a forest freezing to death. I was all alone. A Wendigo was after me. I lived in the forest for months before I was able to kill it. As soon as I did, a very tall man of coat came up to me, offered to give me food for a deal. I hadn't eaten in a week. Wait, so Windigo, and that's the third one, Alverton Hills, Windigo. I knew it. He was unconscious, lying in the snow. I knocked him out from panic. If I hadn't been isolated for so long, I might have sighed. I didn't stop running for hours. The snow kept slowly dying out, and before I knew it, I ended up in my backyard. I had disappeared in the morning, and it was at home by noon. Seven months had passed for me, but I was home in less than six hours in real time. But Noel has been missing for three days now. Maybe whatever he's going through is a lot tougher. And it scares the hell out of me. So, you're so close, come home. I'm almost there. Wait, no, that that was supposed to be, um... I'm sorry, uh, what's your name? Ed? Yeah, I'll just skip it. Yeah. I'll just skip. Wait, I'm so confused. Okay, well, I guess we go in here. What the fuck is that? Oh no! That fucking thing. That is the woman you're attracted to. This thing. What is that? It's me. As you open the door, the ring you had stolen. Hold on. You open the door, the ring you had you had stolen from Mr. Porter began to glow, and the spell had been silenced. You realized you were under a siren's door. Lalina was not who she had said she was. She put me through all this, so I'd be weak and able to fight. You kept walking, pretending you were still under her law. You were trying to get close because she forgot that you still had no had one thing, Mr. Porter's gun. As you begin. As you begin to get closer, she started reaching for your leg, 
you were ready. All right, stay back, stay back. You began shout shouting as with withdrew your pistol to unleash on her. How can you be attracted to this thing? Like, what the fuck is that? Okay, the sound of distant bullets and piercing screams wakes you up. Where am I? Okay, this is okay. Remember what Mr. Paul just said? You feel a soft touch on your neck as if someone was checking your pulse. I can't- I can get through this. I can- I can get home. The hard part's over. Welcome to Abington Hills Asylum. Follow the road and register yourself. We can't wait to meet you. I'm no longer No Reeves. I am Charles Livingstone. I'm from England. I lived in England. I am Charles Livingstone. I am Charles Livingstone. And I am from England. He has no pulse. No, it isn't breathing. You softly pull your fingers back on his neck. No, why did we not read it? What the f- I really think you should be